Hey everyone, so this is my new friend Mike and he wants to say thank you so much for supporting Trey's channel and uh, if you are a subscriber, thumbs up to you. So in this video, we are going to be talking about your bin questions and the reason why is because for the past few years, I've been getting a lot of these questions for bin. I was just thinking what better way to address all of them than to make a video talking to you guys. I just want to say thank you to my sponsor, La Colombe Coffee. Actually, I'm just kidding. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> I just need a coffee. Mm. Okay, so the first question that we have here is from El Paco. Hey Tan, I'm considering getting started in BIM. Do you have any recommendations on where can I learn BIM? There are so many options online that I don't know which are good and which are bad. All right, so first of all, Taco, uh, I'm sorry, Paco. <laughs> there are a lot of good online institutions out there that teaches BIM. For me, I use Global E-Training. That's where I got my BIM certifications. There are so many out there, just like lynda.com, which is affiliated with LinkedIn. The other one is just going to YouTube and browsing these free BIM videos because I think that would really help you, at least to get your feet wet. Hope that answers your question. Next question from VGN. Hey Tran. Oh shoot. Never ever call me Tran. I am not Vietnamese, my friend. Hey, Trey. Is it possible to change career from BIM to structural engineering without masters? This one's a little tricky because in my personal opinion, you cannot do that. Like structural engineering is such a niche trade that you would need to have a masters or some form of professional academia to back your to, to back you up. So the answer to your question is very, very, very unlikely that you can jump from BIM to structural engineering without a professional degree. Okay, so we have one question from edit mode. It says, what if we are too poor for Revit? Bro, find a company that sponsors your license. That's one. The other, if you are a student, you can apply for their student licensing and get like three years free or something. However, it only applies if you're still a student. So, good luck. Okay, this question is from Siddharth Kadam. I have mastered SketchUp having almost 10 years of experience in it now. So is there any way I can make my SketchUp model turn into a BIM model? Heck yeah, bro! So first of all, you can actually import your SketchUp model into Revit. And then once you do that, it should automatically convert your walls into Revit architecture walls, your slab on grade, your ceilings and everything. And then from there, if you want to go even further, you can even populate your quantities in your, well actually not the quantities, but like your price per square foot, your unit rates into your BIM model that helps you calculate how much this project is going to cost. And if you want to go another step further, you can populate your schedules into your Revit model, making it a really robust BIM model from a SketchUp model. Okay, next question from Daniel Hanet. What's your salary like for an entry level position? So watch my, how much do you make as a BIM engineer video? But to answer your question, it's mainly around 60K as an entry level position. Not very high, but it also depends on where you're located. If you are in New York, San Francisco, Seattle, it pays a little higher, like 70K. But if you're anywhere else in the Midwest, 50 to 60K would be a good starting salary. Okay, so we have a question from Robert Rabara. Did you do the reinforcement model also and rebar schedule? To be honest with you, as a BIM engineer, you don't really get into the specifics of modeling the mechanical duct, the structural rebar, the furniture, because those are very specific disciplines that you would rely on, for example, a mechanical engineer to provide the ductwork, the HVAC, exhaust fans, grills, whatnot. And then for the reinforcement model, you would rely on the structural engineer because they have calculations that's embedded into their model. They can see how much PSI this concrete can undertake and all that stuff. So as a BIM engineer, it is not your responsibility to do all the math and to even model rebar. If I were you, um, Robert, I wouldn't try to do it on your own. Get help from the experts who know what they're doing, the mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, structural engineers, and then your job is to put them together, do your clash, and then provide feedback to these people. So Crystal Wong asks, Thanks for this informative video. Does a BIM coordinator needs to be familiar with the construction site works? So Crystal, 
To answer your question, it would be better for you to understand construction going into BIM than to be doing BIM and not understanding construction. Because when you do your BIM models, right, you can pick up things that you should have seen in the BIM model but wasn't modeled, or rather you wouldn't really pick things that are missing without knowing construction. Okay, I hope I answer your question, Crystal. All right, guys, I just want to give a shout out to TXDD James. He said that engineers are so different compared to the BIM coordinators, 3D modelers, and CAD drafters. I'm a plumbing mechanical pipe coordinator. So for example, the pipe engineers will provide us with piping system and equipment layouts for contract drawings. Once the design team provides us with this work and we start to draw to provide our 3D models for the coordination process, nine times out of 10, we end up completely redesigning the engineer's work. <laughs> oh, geez. The layouts and the routing they provide do not work most of the time. They will have pipe risers penetrating through steel beams. Just teach me the calculations and I can replace any of them, guys. Oh! <laughs> I think what James said totally makes sense because when the engineers design their layouts, a lot of times it's, it's based on the preliminary drawings or concept design work that once you further develop into like design development or construction drawings, things will change because things will definitely change. Yeah, let's just put it that way. Okay, we have a question from Mandar Joshi. Hello, sir. I'm from India and I will be graduating this year as a civil engineer, but I'm confused to make a career in BIM or not. I love to work with 3D model, but I don't know, is there any career in high paying jobs available in BIM? So can you tell me, is BIM the right choice for a civil engineer? To be honest with you, BIM is great and it's fun, but BIM is not, I wouldn't consider it a high paying job. I personally think that if you start your career as a civil engineer, you would be paid higher than a BIM engineer. It's just that if you compare BIM with like the other entry level positions in construction, BIM is sitting on the high end of the spectrum. Now let me put it this way, as an engineer, you're actually going out there, doing the calculations, creating the plans, drafting it, and then putting a stamp on it that says these calculations are right, and if they're wrong, I'm professionally and personally liable. Maybe not personally, but you will be liable. So there is more at risk or more at stake for you as an engineer than a BIM engineer. Okay, we have a question from Sajat Ali. Please tell me softwares used in BIM. I want to do master in construction management and BIM. In BIM, there are so many softwares you can use, right? Basically, BIM is 3D models that has information embedded into it. When I was a BIM engineer, I was using Revit architecture, AutoCAD, Navisworks, Bluebeam, and Assemble systems. And of course, you have a Google Chrome, you have a Spotify, you have a different things. Watch my how to be a BIM engineer video. Okay, another question from MC Ariane. I like your name. I do quantity surveying and graduated last May. Could I get in BIM engineering? Now, here's the thing. Quantity surveying is part of construction management. Quantity surveying is actually what I do right now. And it's very much like estimating, to be honest with you. And I can say that it's very different from you know, manipulating BIM models. But what you can do though, is take on BIM classes. Like Global E-Training is a really good one because that's where I got my certifications from. I got my Revit, AutoCAD, and Navisworks certifications. And with that, I was able to put it into my resume. So I think the best way for you is to take on some online classes, get certified, put it on your resume, and then blast it to as many companies as possible to fill the BIM position, okay? So the next question we have here is from SD Tony. Can you recommend a laptop suitable for this? So basically, you want to max out your RAM, okay? Because these softwares, when you open them at the same time, it's going to take on a lot of your memory. And if I were you, when you buy a new laptop, make sure you have 64 GB RAM in your laptop because this RAM is like a table, for example, and how many plates can you put on the table is basically how many softwares you can open at the same time. If you don't have enough RAM, let's just say you have 8 GB worth of RAM, you won't be able to open that many softwares and it might crash on you very often because trust me, I've been there before. Best way to avoid that is to make sure you have enough memory on your laptop.